Hello, people of the set, and welcome back to your sixth, I think it is now, tutorial of programming games. So, this this tutorial, we're going to cover drawing text to the screen. So, we're going to need to include something for this. I've actually already got it included there. It's uh, the GLUT header file. If you don't have GLUT, you can go and download it, add it to your include directories. And then we're going to need to create our function to do this. It's going to be a void function. And it's going to be called render bitmap string. Ooh. You won't have this suggestion here, it's just because I've done it before in other projects. That I have that suggestion there. It's going to take three parameters. You can make it take four, and you'll see why later, but we're just going to go with three for now. Uh, so we're going to put float text, which is the x position of the text, float y, which is the y position of the text, and uh, character array, which stores the string. That we actually of text that we actually want to print. So, and, um, yeah. So now we're going to want to declare two variables. One, in fact, no, we can just declare one here. We're going to call it int len. This is going to stand for length. It's going to get the length of the string. And then we're going to make geo color for f. Then we're just going to fill this up with ones because we want it all to be white. Unless you want it to be a different colour, again, you can add that as another parameter into your function. But it's all very customizable. So we then need to uh, declare something called GL raster pause. Now, what this does is basically creates a position to place anything that doesn't <laughs> take a position as a parameter. So when you actually render a character using glut, you don't actually give it an x and y position to put it in. You actually have to, it uses something called the raster position. So we're going to put that in so we can tell it where to put it. We're then going to disable any kind of textures we be using. So just gonna do that. Okay. And now we're going to need to get into the bit where we actually draw it. So we're going to need to create a for loop. Int i equals zero. Um, and we're also going to need to say the length variable that we declared earlier. We actually could have declared this in the for loop. You could can if you want. Um, strlen stands for string length of the string we've been passed. Um, then we're going to say while i is less than length i plus plus and put our curly brackets. Um, now there is one more header file we're going to need to include for this all to work. Uh, we're going to need to... I don't think we need the string file that I've got included there. I don't know why I've got that. We're going to need the C string because we can only render from a C style string. We can't use a normal C++ string. So now we're going to call a function called glut bitmap character. You'll know it's only, you'll notice it's only one character that's drawing. That's why we have to put it in a for loop to render an entire string. And then we're going to enter the font. Now there's quite a few of these. If we just if you just type in glut underscore bitmap and look under your suggestions, Ooh, <laughs> that hasn't worked. You see, it's quite a few times Roman, Helvetica, uh, simple bitmap. We'll just be using the uh, default bitmap for now. 9 by 15. Uh, that base, that's basically the size of 9 by 15. And then we're going to need to give it data. So we're going to pass as an integer. We're going to give it the string. What's in our string at i? And the reason we pass it in as an integer is because when you give it an integer, it reads it differently. It basically, basically, its character has a code. I don't know what the codes are. But it will recognize the character as a code instead of the character itself, which means that you can actually render it. So now we get, just for the sake of making sure we don't make any graphical errors, is it's a lot more helpful to do this inside your functions than do it before and after you call them, is to re-enable our textures. And there we go. So that's pretty simple. 
uh, we're just going to test this now. Uh, remember, it's, it works just like normal. Um, we'll get rid of this. We might. It works just like normal uh, OpenGL. If you put it last, it's going to be rendered first. It's going to no, it's going to be rendered last in the queue, which means it's going to come out on top of everything else. So we're going to call render bitmap string. Let's say how big is our window? One two eight. Say five hundred and six hundred. Yeah. Don't know when it's going to come up. And let's say hello me. F9. Let's run this. We're getting an error. It's because we have spelt something wrong. Oh, yep. Yeah, we haven't put a capital L. I was just wondering because I spelt it the exact same up there, and it was it was picking up. So yep, yeah, we're gonna run this now. Just wait for the build. And there you go. Hello me. You can play around with the um, other fonts that are available. If you don't have code blocks and it doesn't cover any suggestions, you can go to the uh, just go to opengl.org. There's plenty of references there. I'll tell you all about it. You can see we still got our lovely man with the purple hat that we had from last time. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Relatively short one. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.